So I actually wanted to kind of pivot into a couple of things. Uh, and yet, Sherry, thank you. You already let us there. Um, mm -hmm. I, I do love to kind of cap off the conversation uh, with two main um, pillars. The first one being, what are you excited about looking forward? Um, the second one being what we've already started kind of touching on here is um, advice. And I love your advice. I do think that um, it is more of a habitual thing and a, a consistency thing as opposed to um, just not doing any development or, you know, focusing on your, your growth for a period of time. And then all of a sudden you just magically read a book and can put mm -hmm. something like put in this equation to your life. And then all of a sudden things like that's, that's not realistic. Um, right. So I, I'm a big proponent of consistency and, and the right habits. And, and if you focus on, and I think about it in terms of leading indicators and lagging indicators, if you focus on the leading indicators, the lagging indicators will take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, y'all were already taking us there. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but we can continue down the, you know, general advice, because I think that's super important for, mm -hmm. for professionals <clears throat> that are, you know, have aspirations for a certain position or to leave <clears throat> the corporate world and start their own business that they've been kind of working at night or something mm -hmm. like that. I think it's really important to hear, um, you know, these words of wisdom from, from you guys, um, so I'd love to hear more of that. Also want to hear what you're excited about looking forward. So I, I don't know if you have a preference on where to start there, but I'll turn it sure. over to you. Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be a good place to start with some some other um, nuggets of advice uh, mm -hmm. based upon our experiences and where, where we've uh, looked back on. Um, and that's one that's another thing right there as, as a successful leader, as a strong leader, always look back on, okay, what have I, what have I learned from? What have I failed in? And how can I learn to become better? That's, that's, that's every day as a leader, that's something you need to do uh, is, is, is to do that reflection piece, right? Every day, mm -hmm. reflect on what it is, what worked, what didn't work, what were your successes, what were your failures, um, and become better the next day. Uh, mm -hmm. If you become better today than you were yesterday, then, then you're becoming successful. That's really what it comes down to, right? Um, now, how do you do that? Right? that? That's the question, how? Uh, unfortunately, you can go and get a I go in and get a, a degree in college and spend a lot of time in school. And uh, unfortunately, most likely, you don't necessarily have what we call power skills, right? You haven't learned those. The how tends to kind of go away. We get the book knowledge and gets us a, a solid foundation of whatever we decide to go into. However, the how isn't there. Then how do you become a successful leader? Well, work. Mm -hmm. That's how. You work at it. You learn from it. Uh, you surround yourself with people you want to be like, right? Jim Rohn says we are the average of the five people we spend most of our time with. Mm -hmm. Who are you spending time with? Yeah. Okay. You want to you want to be at a corporate level. You want to have a position in another company. Be around people that are there and also have the same mindset as you do when it comes to leading. Okay, that's how you learn. I also say get a coach mm -hmm. <laughs> and a mentor. Now they're two different. They're two different people. Sometimes one can be the same, but it has to be very divided. Um, but they are different. Getting a coach and a mentor. I can't tell you how many times we've said this to ourselves. We would have done that back in the day if we'd have thought about it first. If we'd have knew about that. If we'd have really put forth that effort, we would have got ourselves a coach right away. When we did get ourselves a set of coaches, and then we do have a set of coaches for us, it made a big difference. It really did. Um, but those are some pointers I wanted to make. You want to add to that? Uh, yeah, I think the only thing that I would add to to that is to, it, especially for for new leaders, it's like, well, where do you, you know you get so overwhelmed? Like, where do we start, right? Um, and let's say, for example, for a mentor, is to follow um, maybe in a podcast or a book and find, and you don't have to be like a physical, like face-to-face -face or even now with the virtual, but to really absorb that material, mm -hmm. of course, as long as it aligns with your core values mm -hmm. and to just to implement that. And it's all about, it all runs back to action, right? Yep. You know, we can read and learn, but as long as you get some type of action out of it. 
Um, I know for to, for example, for me, for my transformation, um, reading particular the 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John Maxwell, it mm -hmm. literally is a blueprint for personal development. Mm -hmm. And there is some great nuggets in there, even as just as, as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. Yeah. And it gives you action steps in every chapter. And it's that type of book that you can read over and over again and still get more great knowledge out of it, because depending on where you are in your growth, then you'll get that information. Mm -hmm. And I continue to read that. It's kind of my second Bible to go back and be like, oh, I didn't understand it, but now I do. Right. And right. what else can I pull from that? And then start incorporating that. Pick one thing, you know, start simple, do the one thing, right? And then yeah. everything compounds. Uh, with that so that's uh, being intentional is, the, is mm -hmm. the point here right yeah. be intentional about your growth be intentional of what it is that you want to do intentionality means being doing it on purpose mm -hmm. right leadership is is learned it's not something that's just automatic this mm -hmm. whole this whole concept of a born leader it's not born mm -hmm. it just isn't you may have characteristics of a, of a leader perhaps mm -hmm. but uh but it's a learned process and that just you don't learn that process you don't become a strong leader unless you do it unless you learn and you progress and you experience and you fail and you fail forward and you learn from that you get the right people in on board with you that's going to help you your coaches your mentors those types of things being intentional on your success because that's gonna that's gonna play a big part on the success of those people that you lead mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I love that. The, the other thing that comes to mind, <clears throat> excuse me, Sherry, as you were talking, I love the idea of coming back to something at a different point. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely guilty of like reading something and going, uh, two out of these five <laughs> things are relevant to me. The other three, who, yeah. what was that author thinking? Like, yeah. no way. <laughs> I, that, I've, I haven't experienced anything that comes close to even needing that or, you know, whatever. Like, you get the point. Yeah. Um, sure. But the more, and, and especially now, you know, that I'm uh, a little over 10 years into my career, or I guess it's a little longer now. Um, <laughs> anyway, being, you know, having more experience, different companies, different positions, it's a great time even for me to go back to some of the core things that I've read and kind of base my foundation on right. and, and, and looking at, at it with fresh eyes of like, okay, I've experienced different things. Because that's really, I mean, you nailed it. Like that's really where something becomes solidified and, and you can mm -hmm. put it into practice easier by reflecting on something that you've experienced or, you know, but, mm -hmm. but to both of you, both of you are saying like, it takes, you got to put it into practice. Like it takes action. It mm -hmm. takes, uh, yeah, that's absolutely right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. And yeah. because that action, it comes accountability. And that's another big piece too, that if you say, if you take an action, you're like, okay, great. I've done that. I read, or, and I'm going to put this piece into place in my everyday occurrence. Right. Okay, great. That's one step. Now it's the accountability. I always equate this to, to exercise, right? We all want to be skinny and rich, right? And that's a less Brown kind of thing, right? You know, skinny, <laughs> rich, you know, woo, you know, um, but nobody wants to put the work in, yeah. right? Yeah. We all want to magically like get the six pack abs and take beach body, take a pill, mm -hmm. you know, again, yeah. instant world. Um, but nobody likes to put the work in and that's where the yeah. accountability can, comes in. And that's why that, that's why that there's a uh, training fitness people out there at all times, because yes, you can change your, your habits. You can change um, your, well, your mindset's huge on that, but, um, your food that you, that you eat, your activity that you do. And then that's why that there's coaches out there, fitness mm -hmm. coaches out there, like, okay, let's get your steps in today, or mm -hmm. let's get to, you know, let's get to the gym, mm -hmm. however it works for you. Same thing with, um, the mental health, uh, when it comes to building your business mm -hmm. or building your influence, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's like, okay, how did I reach out? You know, how are you going to do cold calls? You know, if you're in that type of industry, great. How many, how many do you need in order to meet your goal? Yeah. Well, I need to do five. Okay. Well, let's break that down and then have that again. When are you going to do that? Oh, tomorrow by five. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then by tomorrow by five, you follow up with that person or they should be following with you and just yeah. like, so how did that go? And then we'll talk about it. You know, yeah. but, you know, you don't want to come to a table and, and knowing that that's the expectation be like, oh man, I didn't make my five phone calls mm -hmm. that I did. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. you know, gets that sense of urgency and that kind of empowerment really mm -hmm. yeah. of just be like, that's my responsibility. Nobody else is. I'm the one that put that on myself. Yeah. So I, I need to own up and, you know, and that's, that's interesting. That's what's going to happen between a player and a pretender of if, mm. if what's, what's going to happen. Uh, we, we see that all the time. People want to make a change and they want to be a billion dollar company. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes down to accountability, well, we just had one not long ago say to us, Oh, I don't need that. I'm good. Yeah. I'll, I'm doing well, you're I'm looking, good. looking for like, coaching, but doesn't want accountability. It's like, okay, well, you're not a fit then. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. Sherry just <laughs> described is how we coach mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah. accountability is huge. Yeah. Okay. It, is, is having that person there, having someone there that understands where you want to be mm -hmm. and holds you accountable to the, to what you've set out as your vision. Yeah. And that is what gets people where they need to, where they want to be and gets their business where they want to be is by stretching, being uncomfortable and having somebody say, I'm sorry, but you didn't do what you said you were going to do. So how are we going to fix this? Mm -hmm. And um, that's, that's, that's the value of a coach. Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> so lastly, just want to hear from you guys. What are you excited about looking forward? Maybe something, the balance of this year, maybe it's a 2022 mm -hmm. initiative. What's uh, what's exciting as you look forward? Well, probably the book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've okay. got a couple of things. Uh, one of the things we're, we, we are co-authoring a book uh, called Empowerment and Leadership, The Ten Principles Every Leader Must Follow to Lead with Influence. Nice. Uh, and that is based upon our empowerment method. And that has been a little bit of a delay this year, but we're mm -hmm. hoping that in the, in the beginning, the first quarter of next year, it'll be published, launched, the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and that'll be available. So we're really excited about that because we're yeah. trying to compile in our four and a half decades <laughs> of experience into a 10 chapter book. So it's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. uh, we, it's already started to become interesting because we've, uh, we, we've compiled quite a bit of it. Now it's a matter of sharpening it up. So we're excited about that mm -hmm. um, as an overall big, uh, a big for us and for anyone who, who, who can, um, might benefit from it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, more close proximity of time mm -hmm. uh we've gotten i'm not sure when this will you know when this will be out but uh we do have a mastermind that we're coming on personal growth mm -hmm. and uh that's going to be coming up next month and we also um at the same time have we're out finally in we actually have an in-person event finally where we're going to be doing an in-person event here locally but just so you know the mastermind or any of our on any of our mastermind trainings that we do uh, generally run six, eight, 10 weeks at length are all virtual. They always have the option of virtual. So anybody mm -hmm. can, anybody can join this Nice. Uh, and anything that we do. So our website will pretty much let you know what we got going on mm -hmm. uh, at pretty much any given time. Um, but th those are, those are the, some of the big things we're, we're excited about. And of course we're excited that we have a couple of our partners are going to end the year actually almost all of our partners, all but one, because he's not really self-employed. He works for corporate to work for corporate. Mm -hmm. um, and so their goals are slightly different, but he's, they've already progressed into new positions where they wanted to be, but we have partners that are going to double, if not triple their, the size of their business and revenue this year. So we're really excited about that for them. That's fantastic. So you brought up website. I do want to let the listeners know this your contact information and, and I have your Instagram and your LinkedIn, all that fun stuff. Um, I don't have it in front of me. So if you can just audibly let us know your website and then mm -hmm. I'll please know that the, all the contact information will be in the show notes. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. www.loueverettgroup.com. So L O U E V E R T T.com. There's an E in there. That's okay. <laughs> we'll spell it out for y'all. <laughs> It's okay. My, <laughs> by the way, her, Sherry and I are married. We are a okay. married couple. Uh, on our name. There we go. That's okay. We'll have it. We'll e have it listed. -T -T. That's there right. <laughs> hey, the joys of owning a business together. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so the, 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 uh, go to whoevergroup.com. There's no the in front of the, the URL there. Okay. And any of Instagram, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. Facebook, it's at whoevergroup. Uh, and you'll find at the whoevergroup. You'll find us. Um, plus, go to our website. They're all linked. It's all linked there, too. So, uh, and feel free to reach out to us, our email and our phone number, believe it or not, it's on our website. Okay. And that goes directly to Sherry. So you, <laughs> you can actually talk to somebody. Uh, give us a call. We'd love to hear from you um, yeah. and, and how we can how we can help you out. 
Well, I will say this hour flew by for me. Um, it's been great to have you on. And I, I certainly encourage anybody listening. I, I didn't make the caveat here at the beginning of this third segment, but if you are listening to the end of this in the third segment and you did not listen to segments one and two, um, <laughs> I'm not sure why, but stop now and go listen to the first um, couple because this has been a fantastic discussion. I love, I know it energizes me uh, to hear about the impact you guys are making and you're you know very much in line with your approach um, you know, what you've drawn from your experiences, what you're sewing into the business owners and professionals you work with. So thank you. No, you're welcome. Thank you for having us. And like you, like, uh, like you said, go back and listen to the other ones because you missed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good nugget there. Yeah. <laughs>